guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. What's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? Happy 2019. I hope you guys all had a great holiday. Um, I just want to thank you guys for all of you who ordered some readings from me over the holidays. I really appreciate it. It was awesome. Um, so it kept me busy for a little bit, but that's exactly what I want. I'm so happy to be back doing the private readings, connecting with you guys again. Um, what else I want to mention? Oh, um, I'm keeping last year's format for the prices and the layouts. Uh, so the prices haven't changed. They're going back to last year's. Um, also, there's going to be a discount for anybody who is Patreon or returning customers. Um, I haven't really factored that in yet, but I will. Um, so just make sure you guys let me know that you've ordered a reading before, and then I'll, I'll try and figure out the price after that. So yeah, if you guys want to order a reading, now is a great time. I'm all caught up now. Uh, and you guys are getting your readings after 24 hours, so that's awesome. And what else did I want to say? Um, oh yeah, for 2019, um, if you reduce <clears throat> the 19, it's 9 and 1. So that's a 1, right? 10, 1. So what I'm kind of picking up with that is a year of personal growth, um, oneness, um, you know, if you are in a karmic relationship, that might also mean that you guys are going to be splitting as well. So it's, I feel it's a time for the individual to grow because next year is 2020, right? So that's two. So that's a union energy. So a lot of twins might be coming into union at that time. So yeah, and thank you so much for all of your support in terms of the book. I am so excited about it. I have uh, people reading it right now and the feedback that I'm getting from it is just, uh, it just makes me so excited. It's exactly what I wanted because I was able to answer, you know, what consciousness is from a scientific perspective. And, um, yeah, so I can't wait for it to get out and, and the cards as well. So yeah, um, it's coming as a package deal. So, you know, it's nerve wracking, but awesome. Okay guys, so I'm sending you massive love and um, I hope you enjoy this week's Twin Flame reading. All right, cheers. Hello, Masculine. So this is gonna be your reading for January the 7th until the 17th. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a great holiday. Um, so I left the Four of Wands up there because um, it is an overall energy that you guys are going to be moving through for the next 11 days. And I think I want to do a Celtic, mm, no, I want to do a crystal ball. Okay, so that is a 5x5 five five grid. There's a distant past, recent past, um, present, near future, and final outcome role. Uh, there's four cornerstone cards, which represent the main energy of the reading. And a one center card, which is the main energy from the universe. All right, so let's begin. Okay, so starting with the distant past, first cornerstone card, five of wands. So this is a heavy energy because it is, you know, one of the cornerstones. Um, so you're coming in in the distant past, feeling challenged, feeling you don't like you don't measure up, um, feeling like things are in the way. So this is a confidence card. All right, I haven't done one of these for a long time. Two of Swords, so you're at a crossroads. Um, you feel stuck because of those challenges. Uh, this is a split mind, um, wanting one thing and not being able to have it because you are committed to something already. So you feel stuck. King of Swords has showed up in the Twin Flame reading. 
King of Swords is somebody who is not thinking with their heart. Um, they're making decisions um, that are very rational. Uh, somebody who's who speaks their mind. They say what's on their mind. Uh, they make choices, but this is also about communication. So what I'm seeing here is this indecision, this inability to move. Um, and ultimately, I, I think you're moving towards making a choice. You're starting to see things clearly. You're coming out of that indecisiveness. Nice. So the crown chakra, wide open. Um, this is your direct connection to source. Uh, this is a very high level of consciousness. Um, you need to be you know, in a meditative state and then move beyond the third eye chakra into the crown chakra, um, which is where you can download information, you have inspiration, you have creative thoughts. So clarity especially with these two cards here, the King of Swords and the Crown Chakra. Wow. Um, you have come out of that stuck feeling like you're not good enough. Um, you realize that you are, you know, the universe. You are powerful. Um, you manifest your reality. You choose what you you know, the reality that you're living in, basically. You can have a happy one or you can have a miserable one. And it seems to me like you're, you're moving towards peace and harmony. Nice. The High Priestess. So, it's a cornerstone card. Beautiful. You're using your intuition. Um, you're going within, looking for answers. So you might be paying attention to your thoughts, your dreams. Um, you feel... You know, there's a lot of internal searching happening here. You know, the, both the cards, the eyes are closed. You're in a meditative state. Here, the eyes are open. Um, so you've gone from the outside external world, feeling like there's challenges, to a more receptive, more internal resolve, I guess. All right, so the recent past. Oops, I accidentally picked from... Uh, the feminine side here, but I guess we'll hold on to that. Um, I have two decks. I accidentally chose the wrong deck, but obviously this one wanted to be shown. Let me just move this over here so I don't do that again. Okay, so the lover's card, recent past, passion, um, where there was challenges where you feel like felt like you didn't measure up. There's um, a strong surge of passion um, that came of it. Okay, and that's because you, you're really letting your internal guide um, guide you. Okay, the devil, ego. Two of swords is right above it. So there's something in the recent past that blocked you. Now, this could be an addiction, self-limiting beliefs, a karmic relationship. But the ego, you're dealing with that now. It ha held you back in the past, but it's like you're following your heart. And if you watch the Twin Flame reading, that's exactly what I was feeling. It's like you, you're you moving into a loving state. Um, you're not letting... Well, you are definitely allowing things to hold you back towards the end of the week. Um, a lot of fears kind of creep up, so it's probably going to show up again in this reading, but I feel that you're kind of addressing those issues. You're in a more conscious, aware state. You're coming into the present moment in a more conscious, aware state. Um, so dealing with whatever that bondage is. Next, nice. Heart chakra. So love. Lover's card, the heart chakra devil right in between um so again feeling love um feeling true love um calling out your soulmate feeling this magnetic attraction for somebody right um, desiring love and it seems to me like you've got this clarity about it now seven of pentacles so this is a pause 
gestation period, so you're waiting for the ships to return. So even though there's a lot of love in your heart, there's a period of contemplation. Okay, so because it's in the recent past, it kind of tells me that um, you've been doing a lot of thinking and there's a payoff that's about to happen. King of Pentacles, yep, this is manifestation. Now the Queen of Pentacles showed up on the, the masculine side for the Twin Flame reading, so um, there it's like there's a desire to meet up in 3D possibly. If you look at this entire row, um, it's like you you were sitting on something, um, but then you felt ready to, you know, there's this freedom that comes with the King of Pentacles. He's achieved so much in his lifetime, he can now enjoy his life. He doesn't have to worry about money anymore. He's also the provider. So whatever you're waiting for, it pays off. This is manifestation of that. It's abundance. Um, it's very giving energy as well. So that's beautiful to come in, to have coming into the present. All right, so this is a present. Eight of Pentacles. So the feminine also got this card on her side. So there's this sense that work needs to be done. Commitment to an, a long-term goal is starting to manifest. Either the long-term goal is manifesting or you're, you're really working hard at making it happen now. So the lover's card is just above that. So it tells me, you know, the masculine is trying to make it manifest in 3D. Um, feels momentum building. Where should I put this? I fixed my, my card table here, but now I don't know where the slots are. Okay, Six of Wands. He feels very successful. He was stuck. He dealt with the devil. And boom, he's the rock star. So this is also an accelerated motion. It's, it's building momentum here in the present. Um, so everyone's cheering you on. Um, you feel like you're on the right path. You're hopeful about the future where you felt stuck before. You feel free. All right, so I'll move these up a little bit then. Okay. Hope, exactly. Um, and wow, this is the center card as well. This is the main uh, card from the universe. Hope, wishes granted. This is a time of healing. Um, no need to worry about the future. It's all going to work out. And so that's awesome energy to be in right now for you guys. Um, stay hopeful. Your wishes and dreams are coming true. And it's coming right below the, the heart chakra and that whatever that decision you made it in the past is you're blessed tower all right so sudden change um, disruption destruction um, but this is an external force coming in and shaking things up now usually this uh, star card comes after the tower but because universe is sticking it out there right now it's saying that whatever's happening in the moment is happening for the best it is meant to help you transform to you know you're you were having trouble making decisions and you might be feeling like things are crumbling but they're not um, whatever choices you made came from source you are being surrounded by the universe's love right now so stay optimistic keep moving forward let the, the pieces fall wow another chakra throat chakra so the masculine um he wants to speak, he wants to say something, and it's like he, he wants to do it soon. Um, he's been doing a lot of internal searching and he's discovered an answer. 
and he's feeling very hopeful about it. Near future. Nine of Pentacles, very nice. We got the Eight of Pentacles just above it, the Lover's card. So he's building um, a foundation, a stable future. Nine of Pentacles is abundance. Um, it is manifestation again of your dreams. But this is readiness. This is the fruit dropping from the tree because it's ready, it's ripe. Uh, and it is also feeling very accomplished and also being able to do the things that you've always wanted to do because you have money coming in. Now, if you remember with the Twin Flame reading, the masculine had issues with financial uh, his situation or his career, right? So here it is showing up again. He's really working hard to manifest something here. Next, Page of Swords, another communication card. So this is the double communicator. You know, pages are messengers and sword is air. So clear, concise communication. And again, it comes with the King of Swords in the, the back there. So decision is made and then he wants to speak it. He's ready to, to you know, this the uh, Nine of Pentacles is independence and freedom. So there's this, he's been waiting to say something and he feels ready to do it. He feels very encouraged to do it. Next, we have the Five of Swords. So this is finger pointing, um, negative energy um, being directed at you. Um, you know, so someone might be triggering you or you might be triggering somebody, but I don't really feel, I feel that, you know, that devil back there is still kind of lingering in the background and may come out to bite you in, in the f near future. Um, and that's what the Page of Swords could be as well. The Page of Swords just says whatever is on their mind, right? Um, there's no control over their thoughts or what they say. So, um. Sorry about that. My freaking camera keeps running out of memory. Um, somebody might have changed my settings over Christmas. So once I'm done this reading, I will have to have a look at that. Um, okay, so we were at the Five of Swords. So this is negative energy. It's, you know, just finger pointing, accusations. But at the same time, the masculine's feeling pretty grounded and stable. Next, three of wands, yep, he's brushing it off. Um, oh wow, the, the mouse one got the three of wands in the uh, twin flame reading as well. So, um, remember we got that pay attention to red flags, uh, financial situation, children, the page of swords is, could also have to do with children, but ultimately it works out. Okay, so the tower is above that. Um, you know, look at the two cards together. It's like finger pointing and you're like, ha, huh, whatever. Things are working out great for me. So positivity all around. All right, next. There we go, page of sword. Or sorry, page of um, fire. So we've got two pages here. So great news. Um, great news, great communication. Uh, you're thinking of an adventure, new starts, two pages especially, there's something new beginning. Um, and again, it might have to do with communication because right above that is the throat chakra. Final row, page, our five of pentacles. So this is a cornerstone card, so this is feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned. Um, again, another synchronicity, this card showed up in the twin flame reading. Um, now it's like you were building up to something and ultimately possibly it didn't work out the way that you'd hoped it would, but you know, there's some sort of resolve if you look at the twin flame reading, um, ultimately things work out for the best. Okay. Next card, the night of fire. So this is movement forward. It is uh, directed energy towards the goal, uh, feeling very empowered, feeling 
um, excited, but you know that that all that power, all that creati creativity is directed towards a goal. So where you felt alone and disconnected because of whatever was happening right over here, um, you come out of it very quickly. Nice, the Ace of Cups. So this is uh, true love. This card only shows up when you are ready for true love. Um, it comes with conditions. You have to clear your past. You have to forgive yourself, forgive others. Okay, so where there was negative thoughts around the situation, it's you clear it up and love comes into your life. And remember the uh, Twin Flame reading, you had the True Love card as well. And Justice, nice. After the Tower, it's like you almost like desire the tower, you willed the tower to happen, and um, karma justice is on your side. You went for love, you pursued love, and you feel justified, you feel um, like everything worked out in your favor. You can have a big thumbs up there. Okay, final card. Queen of Cups. So this could be a water um, water energy, you know, and then also we have the high priest back there, priestess, sorry, and she's another water, um, you know, the, the queen of cups is very loving, gives love unconditionally, very emotional, very, um, deep connection, and remember the last cards that the masculine had was, Oh my gosh, it was there and it's gone again. Oh yeah, strength card and something else. Strength, I can't remember. But there was this feeling of gentleness, of compassion, of creating this beautiful environment for you to open up in. And again, I'm seeing that there. I'm seeing love surrounding you. I'm seeing excitement. I f I'm, everything works out. Um, you were afraid that it wasn't going to, you felt abandoned, but ultimately um, it all worked out in the end. All right, so I think I'm going to pull one card from Call It Baron Reed, and I'll read that to you. What's the final messages for the masculine? This one, okay. Wow, truth be told. Yeah, you're looking for truth, and... The message is, is to open up your heart and express yourself. Let it flow. Let your emotions flow. Um, say what you have to say. All right. So, the essential meaning is honesty, accepting things at face value. Coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing in your reading. Throat chakra, page of swords, um, the page of wands, a desire to come out off your island. All right, so the relationship message. People tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they say and pay attention to how they behave. So there's that paying attention to red flags again. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt open communication or conversation, I should say. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always best in your personality, sorry, remember your truth is always based in your personality and experience up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how uh, doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back, speak your truth and listen. Wow, strong message guys, get off your island, open up. Tell your feminine how you feel. And it seems to me that's what you do. 
No more, no more feeling alone. No more disconnecting. True love. All right. I hope this helped somebody out there. I'm sending massive love. Cheers.